There's this old saying that if you put a frog in a pot of water and slowly turn up the heat, that eventually the frog will be cooked and never jump out. I don't know whether the saying is true or not, but I know that that's exactly what the government is doing to us, the people. I like to use driving as an example whenever I talk about this because I feel that driving is one of the most restricted things and one of the things in, that we have in our lives that we do frequently that has the most laws written about it. And I basically want everyone to think back when cars were first being put on the streets and people just didn't have driver's licenses. They didn't have anything. They just bought their car and simply drove it down the street. They, they brought gasoline with them, of course, and it was at the um, beginnings of the stage of driving, but they were free to go where they wanted. They were free to travel unencumbered with all these government regulations. And through the years, the government came along and decided that they'd start issuing out driver's licenses and start making many mandates. And then years and years passed, and they started figuring out how to put photographs on the driver's licenses and start using them as identification. More and more years passed, and they started digitizing those photographs. If you'll notice, your driver's license probably has little pixelated squares on your photo if you look very closely. Many of you have magnetic strips on the back of your driver's licenses with your thumbprint or handprint like they do in Texas. And right now there's ISO formatting ready to put uh, your bio information embedded on a chip on, into your driver's licenses. So where did we come from being free and unencumbered to being able to travel down the street? When did we come from being able to just drive down the road and freely and not needing cameras on every intersection? Have you noticed that? That's all they have around my area are cameras up on the poles. Uh, why, why do we need all these things? At first they pass them off as some kind of traffic monitoring and then the next thing you know there's cameras on even small intersections. You know, it's almost creepy. Big Brother is watching you. It's, it's weird. There's like four or five cameras everywhere. Uh, every intersection in my town at least. Uh, what, what about the cameras that take photographs of people who are running red lights and people coming to accept this through the years? Uh, it used to be in America that you needed witnesses against you. You, you were presented with witness. You, you had to have witnesses testify against you in court. That means more than one. Your word against somebody else's didn't fly. Witnesses, you had to have two people accusing you of crime. Not a state accusing you of crime, people accusing you of a crime. Today, we come to accept the state is just going to prosecute people. The, 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 the state of Texas, for instance, can hold charges against somebody. The state of Texas, Texas was never a witness against somebody and people are accepting a camera on a light pole as being a witness and they go ahead and they pay their citation that they get in the mail. When have we come this far? It's got to be people just are accepting this this pot of water slowly being boiled around them. They, they, they don't know that they're going to be squeezed out and killed from this process. Um, we, we've come to accept so many things as chiseled and shaped and molded um, when, when have we become a society where we're basically acting like cows, where we've come to accept having our little barn or our house and we just drive down like this cattle drive every morning and we, and we drive and we pass a cop, which is like a cowboy or a watchdog on the side of the road, and the cameras are cowboys and watchdogs on the side of the road, making sure we're never getting out of line so that we can follow the next cow butt right in front of us all the way to our pasture land so that we can be productive for the government. You know, because all of our money is just going to end up at the government anyway. It's a big production unit. You, you know, you're a dairy cow, you're a meat cow, and they don't care about you at all except for what you can produce for them. When, when have we come this far? I just wanted to be free. I just wanted to be left alone. And a lot of times I don't think that there is a solution for this. I don't think there's a solution for this mass of humanity, this huge brainwashing that's come over us, this water heating up around us. That How, how do you get away from it? And the only thing I can come up with is not a solution like this fellow who shot up in Arizona did. Uh, the only thing I can think of is that we just simply don't participate anymore. We don't follow their money system. We don't follow their driver's license system. We just don't participate. If they give you a ticket for it, you just don't pay it. You go to jail. You let it cost them money. You know, you ruin their system. It's a corporate system. It's a fascist system um, that's been being overgrown around us, that's being boiled all around us. We can't participate anymore if we want any changes to happen. We can't let them have the fruits of our labor any longer. And institutions have tried to come up with alternate forms of currency. 
Um, and they have been raided by the FDI, FBI. And if you know, if you're familiar with the Liberty Dollar story, you'll you know exactly what I'm talking about. So I don't even know if we can have an alternative form of currency. And we have to come together as a community. There's enough people that watch my videos and other videos on YouTube where we need to think of systems that we can get around the government because we don't need them. The government needs us. Uh, we're born free. We don't need these corporate thugs that are sitting in our state governments and our uh, federal governments sitting here dictating rules to us. They're not our authorities. We are their authorities. You know, they don't exist without us. And they, they basically think that they have authority over us because they can send the boys in blues to come point guns at us saying that if you don't do this, you're going to go to jail. If you don't follow going to jail and you resist going to jail, eventually we can shoot you. Because if you're going to defend yourself to the death before you follow our orders, we'll kill you. And that's basically the system. You're always threatened at the point of the gun. And, you know, that's... I, that's why I feel like a cow. I feel boxed in. I feel like this pot of water that even if we try to jump out of, we can't get out of it. You know, is there a way that we can piggyback on one another or all these retarded frogs that won't get out of this boiling pot of water and try to hop out of this pot? I mean, there, there's enough people that are stupid enough that are entrenched in this system that I think that the government won't notice the people who understand that they are free people, that they have no authority over them except what they choose to have over them. Uh, there's enough of us to get out of this pot. There's enough of us to hide from the system. There's enough of us to form communities in our local areas that where we don't even need the government. You know, we can take ag exemptions on land where we don't need money. We can form our own food systems and our own systems of trade within small communities and work within ourselves. Even have our own currency in a community. Just don't have denominations written on them so the government can't sit here and raid you. Maybe even colored pieces of paper. I don't know. I'm not here to provide solutions. We can think of our own solutions later. But we've got to get out of the system that exists right now. It's, it's ridiculous. These guys, they seriously think they have authority over you. Does your governor really have authority over you? Think about that. Does your police officers have authority over you? When did you give them authority? When did you say, when were you born and say, hey, guess what? I'm ready to follow your laws. Did you ever say that one time? I don't think you have. The only thing I can think of is when I was forced to as a little kid in my naive state saying the Pledge of Allegiance in public school. You know, it, it, no, no, at, not at one time in my adult life have I ever said, I'm ready to follow your laws, government. Sure, rule my life. Take all of my earnings. Take all the fruits of my labor. Take all my money away when I die. Don't let me give my kids an inheritance. Inflate all my labors away. I never said that to the government. They're assuming this over us. They, they, and people believe, even, even if you read news articles, it says, the authorities. Every time you hear a cop, it says, the authorities. They're not your authorities. They're your public servants. I've said this a million times in my videos, it feels like. But they're your public servants. They're here to serve you. They're here to protect your rights. That's what they're there for. Not to sit here and enforce traffic fines, municipal corporation earnings over you as you're driving on your cattle drive to work so that the government can rape you again. So basically, I think that many of us are a bunch of frogs ready to say F you to the pot. To say F you that we're not going to take this boiling water coming up around us and we're ready to leap out. So if you could, just leave comments and ideas. Share things with one another. Here on YouTube, uh, on any forum that you can find. Uh, there, there's many freedom forums around. Just, just start sharing ideas how to get out of this entrenching system. It's unbelievable. I can't. I can barely take it myself. Sometimes when I think of how boxed in we are, how much we're encased in this pot of boiling water, how much that we rely on the system around us, and how naive people are around us, it, it drives me nuts because we are free people, and I believe many of us have free minds, and we're willing to go to extreme lengths in our own lives, extreme sacrifice in our riches, and extreme sacrifices. And the, and the standard of livings that we have in order to be free from this. Um, I'm really, seriously, in my own life, ready to take up a lot of Gandhi measures. Just don't do it. Just don't get a driver's license. Just don't pay the income tax. I don't care. You know, if they put you in jail, well, they're just raping other people. It's money, basically, to put you in jail. 
There's no system around that. It, you know, the income tax is illegal. Driver's licenses are illegal. You're free to travel unencumbered in the Constitution. You know, they have gun regulations. You know, some, some of you may think that you just want to have any type of gun that you want. And I'm cool by that. Go ahead. It's your constitutional rights. I have all the guns I need now. So, basically, I think that I'm ready to take up the Gandhi measure. Just don't follow the system. If they throw you in the clink, they throw you in the clink. You know, some of you may have some other measures that you want to take where that you'll find more freedom in your own self. You know, there's people I know, for instance, right now that are ready to just walk out of their home, just walk off into the woods and build a house. They don't care what anyone does to them. They just, they're basically just going to walk off there and homestead right there in the middle of the forest. And, you know, I can't really do that myself because I have a family, but we have to get out of this pot of water somehow. We need to share ideas with one another. We need to stop just saying, you know, yeah, man, we can just do it whenever we want, and we're just going to sit here and watch the world collapse around us before we're going to do anything about it. It's like we can prepare for the economic collapse, but we got if we can form our own communities, maybe we can have a substantial good way of living, a free way of living, without the world affecting us when the thing goes down. You know, I, I can't, I can barely stand it, guys. It's it's ridiculous. It's like in my neighborhood, they even tell people they can't paint their house a certain color. You know, I went out of this so bad, and I'm really boxed in by many paradigms, not only pressure from society and um, ways that I can earn money for my family, but basically it's, it's a head game too because this is all I've ever known. And I'm sure many of you face that, and, but, but I think that I'm starting to break free of this mold. I'm seriously ready to do the homesteading thing. We're still looking for land. Um, to, to, to build a home and, and basically claim an ag, ag exemption on so that my family can pay very minuscule property taxes on this land. And we're not going to tell the government about it. Screw the government. F you to the pot of boiling water. I don't want it anymore. Anyway, those are my thoughts for today, and I'll catch you next time. Thank you.